In this video, we're going to look at identifying some trigonometric ratios from the triangle over here on the right, with sides of 6 and 8 and hypotenuse of 10. I've labeled the angles as alpha and theta, which are Greek letters, but they could just as well be any variable. In the first set of problems, we're asked to find the sine, cosine, and tangent of theta. When we're looking for sine, cosine, and tangent, we might remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent, which gives us that mnemonic to remember, SOHCAHTOA. Since we're talking about the angle theta in the first three problems, we'll base our labeling system on the angle theta. The side across from theta should be the opposite of theta. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. And the adjacent side is always between our angle and the right angle. So the 8 is going to be adjacent to theta. So when we're asked to find sine, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse, the opposite value was 6 and the hypotenuse value was 10, and 6 tenths reduces down to 3 fifths. The cosine from SOHCAHTOA we see is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The adjacent over the hypotenuse. From theta, adjacent is 8, and the hypotenuse is 10. 8 over 10 reduces to 4 fifths. The cosine of theta is 4 fifths. For tangent, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So from theta, the opposite side is 6 and the adjacent is 8, so we have 6 over 8, which reduces to 3 fourths. And we've identified the sine, cosine, and tangent of theta. We could have also found the sine, cosine, and tangent of alpha. But when we're working with alpha, we have to make sure we relabel our sides. 10 is still the hypotenuse, because it's still opposite the right angle. But if we go from alpha across the triangle, now 8 is the opposite side, the opposite of alpha. And 6, being between alpha and the right angle, is now the adjacent side to alpha. Notice when we switch the angles that we're talking about, we have to switch the opposite and adjacent side in our labeled diagram. So if we want the sine of alpha, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite from alpha is 8 over the hypotenuse of 10. This becomes 4 fifths. If we want the cosine of alpha, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And so adjacent to alpha is 6 over the hypotenuse of 10, which reduces to 3 fifths. tangent of alpha, tangent is opposite over adjacent, so from alpha, the opposite is 8 and the adjacent is 6, which reduces to 4 thirds. Notice by switching the angle we're talking about, we get completely different answers for the sine, cosine, and tangent. When we're asked to find either the sine, cosine, or tangent of a triangle, we can look and remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. If we correctly label the opposite across from the angle, the hypotenuse across from the right angle, and the adjacent between the angle and right angle, we can quickly identify either the sine, cosine, or tangent.